Alright, so now I've got the best drill in the game, but as you can see, it's missing quite a few upgrades, so let's go ahead and fix that. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take this titanium infused fuel tank that I've already been forging and apply it to my drill because this thing is basically unusable with the 3000 fuel capacity it has now. But after adding this thing, I'll now have 25,000, which is much, much better. But before I start working on any of the materials that I'm going to have to actually mine with this drill, I kind of want to start by just getting the rest of the glacite jewels I need done right now. That way I don't have to worry about them anymore. All right, and that should be the last one I need. That brings us up to a total of 95 glacite jewels, which is the exact amount I need to forge my last 19 golden plates. But unfortunately, as you maybe could have guessed from the name, a golden plate also needs some gold. So in order to make all 19 of these, I'm also gonna have to get 38 enchanted gold blocks, which in the past, I would have done this by just mining the gold in the dwarven mines here, and it wouldn't have been that slow, but it probably would have taken a couple hours. But there was an update maybe like two months ago or so that made getting gold like ridiculously easy like gold is basically free these days so all i need to do is go into the crystal hollows here and then find a mines of devon and okay wow i got super lucky that this is not cleared out already so now i just throw on my mineral armor and start mining all right, and the entire Mines of Devon is now basically cleared out of gold thanks to me and one other guy. So now I just gotta compact all my enchanted gold into enchanted gold blocks. And that leaves me with exactly 38 enchanted gold blocks. Pretty lucky. And now I get to throw all of these materials in the forge to start making some golden plates. And now it's pretty much just a waiting game thanks to my mortal enemy, the Forger. But it's actually not really too big of a deal because there is plenty of other stuff for me to work on while I'm waiting. And the first thing I want to get done is the materials for these 35 gemstone mixtures, which are going to require me to get 900,000 each of these four gemstones. I do already have 1.3 million jade though, so I only need to worry about the other three. All right, took about an hour, but that's 900,000 of each now. So on to the next thing, which is actually gonna be titanium mining. And for the actual like upgraded drill engines and fuel tanks, I would only need like seven refined titanium, but there's also the titanium artifact that I'd eventually like to forge. And that's gonna be an additional 45 refined titanium. So this is gonna take a little bit. First though, I need to go ahead and redo my heart of the mountain tree to actually optimize for titanium mining because if I just left it as it is now, I'd basically be getting zero titanium. And now I just gotta get up to a good spot to mine titanium and we start mining. Hey, and we just hit mining 60. Wow, there we go. I officially have my mining skill maxed out, but still have a little bit more titanium to do. All right, and there we go. That should be the last bit of titanium I need. That took a little bit longer than I was hoping it would, but we have it done now, so don't have to worry about it anymore. These next couple of materials, though, is where things are gonna get a little bit annoying. Because first, I wanna get everything I need for the Sunnyside Goblin Omelet, which will give me an additional 50 mining fortune, but that requires 99 yellow goblin eggs, which are not that easy to find. And realistically, if I were to go through lobbies and try and hunt down all 99 of these on my own, I'd probably go insane. So instead, I'm gonna abuse the power of being a streamer on Twitch and get the people in chat to help me find some eggs as well. All right, so I'm about four hours into this grind and even with the abuse of Twitch chat, I'm still like only two thirds of the way there. So this has taken longer than I was hoping it was going to. Okay, I'm now officially seven hours into this grind for yellow goblin eggs, but I just need one last one and then we're done. We have all 99. So let's hope this doesn't take too much longer. Should I buy Yogg with... Oh my god, we already got it! <laughs> what are the odds of that? Let's go! 99! 99, baby! Let's go! Oh my gosh. And next up, I need to get an absolute metric ton of robot parts. In particular, the one that's gonna take the longest because I need the most of it is 70 synthetic hearts. And now initially, I kinda was thinking I would just powder grind for all these robot parts, but after doing that for like 30 minutes or so, I realized it would literally just take like months to get it done. Like it just wasn't feasible at all. So instead, I'm gonna have my friend Tarns, who is basically like a pro automaton grinder, show me the best path for killing these things in the Precursor City. And even that way, it's still gonna take probably like five hours or more, but it'll be way quicker than powder grinding for it. All right, so he's taken me around the entire path now, and I used one of my mods to set a waypoint at each spawn point for the automatons. So now I just have to murder a bunch of these things for their parts. All 
All right, and there we go, 70 synthetic hearts. I was basically spot on about the time. It took like literally exactly five hours. And the good news now is I am insanely close to being done with these upgrades. Basically, all I have to do now is get the five recombobulators for the Devon's drill and the entire Devon's armor set. But after running dungeons for a couple of hours, I still hadn't dropped a single recom. So I started to get a little bit impatient and decided to just YOLO a Kismet feather. Just to see, just to see. Oh my god! It worked! It worked! Oh my god! Oh my god, that- Dude, that was actually such a waste. That was actually such a waste, but I just felt it. And from that point onward, my luck with the recoms was much, much better, and it only took a couple more hours of floor 5 dungeon runs to get the other four I needed. But in the process of grinding for those, there was this kind of insane moment. Are you kidding me? Bruh, just give me a recom. You know what? This, this is I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna actually disrespect this drop. I'm disrespecting that drop. Are you kidding me? What are the odds of that? What are the odds of okay? Wait, do I have to buy I'm not gonna waste seven mil? Wait, this thing's gonna haunt me forever if I okay. Look, I, I I'm buying it now just because that thing's gonna haunt me forever otherwise. For some reason, the game wants me to buy that. <gasps> so, uh, yeah, that happened. And for anyone interested, I did the math on my stream a couple minutes later, and the chances of that happening are about 1 in 10,000. And if you also consider the fact that I'm probably one of the only people stupid enough to actually use Kismet Feathers on Floor 5, I feel pretty comfortable saying I might be the only person that's ever happened to on the entire server. Which is kind of ridiculous to say. But anyways, that basically does it now for all the materials I need to max out this setup. And if I head over to the Forger now, you can see pretty much all of the max upgrades are going to be chilling in my Forge here. You might notice though, I'm only rocking the Titanium Talisman here, which is not the fully upgraded Titanium Relic that I initially said I was going to go for. And it's honestly just because I've gotten lazy with actually going through the process of forging all this refined titanium. So I'm going to fill my Forge up with that right now so i stopped procrastinating it anyways i'll start by doing my recoms on the armor and there we go a full mythic set of devon now that pink devon looks very clean i love that and then of course we're also going to recom the big piece here the devon's drill and now we have that beautiful blue devon's drill because it has been upgraded to the divine rarity Anyways, now I can go ahead and apply all these parts. So we'll start with the Sunnyside Goblin Omelette, which will give me an extra 50 mining fortune. Then I will do my perfectly cut fuel tank, which will increase my fuel capacity to 100,000. So there we go. And we're definitely going to need that extra fuel capacity because the Sunnyside Egg actually doubles fuel consumption. And then finally, we throw on the Amber Polish Drill Engine for the extra 400 mining speed. And I think it also like secretly gives a little bit of bonus fortune as well, but I'm not sure of the exact amount. You might also notice that I have a perfect topaz and perfect jade here, which I'll show you what I'm going to use that for right now. So in my artifact of power, I previously only had like a fine version of each of these. I think I did have a flawless topaz though. But basically what I did was take all the old gemstones from my sorrow armor and use it to make a perfect of each of these. That way now I can get the most pristine and mining fortune out of this thing as possible, which are of course like the two most important stats. And that actually was originally where I was going to stop and do my updated mining test to see how much better this setup was now. But in one of my Dwarven Mines lobbies the other day, someone in chat told me that I should upgrade my rare Skatha to either Epic or Legendary for a video. Which I replied that Epic Skatha is basically a 70 million coin upgrade for just 25 mining fortune. But then he said something that absolutely blew my mind. It's good. And honestly, it's basically impossible to argue with that logic. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw all the coins I have in my possession at the moment. We'll pop my Skatha out into my inventory here. And wow, look at that. It's actually going to be 87.5 million coins for 25 Mining Fortune. What a great value. Let's do it. And now, of course, though, I don't want to wait a week for this thing to upgrade. So I'm going to head over to the bit shop here and we'll go ahead and buy seven of these cat flowers. And then we start taking days off of this upgrade. And the final one... Boom, there we go. Epic Skatha. That definitely was not just a massive waste of money. No way at all, right? And now I am back to having 1 million coins to my name. 
So much for spending 700 hours to get as rich as possible. I guess now it's time to go do that updated money test though and see if all these upgrades was really worth it. Before I do that though, quick shout out to the fire sale going on right now for these really cool Enderman skins. If you guys want to support me doing stupid stuff like this, use code RAYTRAIN on the Hypixel store. It really helps me out. All right, so I've made it to the mines of Devon here. Just to show my stats, we're at 7,065 mining speed. 2,048 mining fortune, and 16.2 pristine. And as a refresher, last time I did this test, before all these upgrades, I was making about 16 million coins an hour. So obviously I'm hoping to make more this time, otherwise this was all a huge waste. Anyways, 15 minute test, let's go. All right, I'm cutting the test a bit short because there's like two other people in this Mines of Devon now. So it's gonna start to grief the test and make it like not as accurate if I keep doing it. So I stopped mining at the 12 minute mark on my stopwatch. So we'll have to times the results by five to get for a full hour. Anyways, here we go. 1.27 million. Is that good? All right. It comes out to almost exactly 19 million coins. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I'd say my goal was 20 million coins an hour, but I think in like a perfect scenario where I'm the only one in the mines of Devon, I could probably get to 20 million an hour. Anyways, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more like mini episodes like this on the second channel for things that don't make it into the main channel videos. But yeah, I think that's it. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.